we're all trying. And we, should, we would hope that you know, Muslims just, we need to unite. At least be united in acknowledging that people come to different conclusions about situations. We're all trying. You know, for me, I'm teaching this stuff because I think this is the most important things that Muslims need to be thinking about. Because I look at the Muslim world and I see people cutting people's heads off. And I see people rioting in the streets. And I see angry people. And I see people taking a 70-year-old ruler and, and sticking a knife up his backside you know, uh, out of rage and anger. And, and I don't see the Prophet coming into Mecca. I don't see Salahuddin al Ayyubi coming into Jerusalem. I don't see Amir Abdul Qadir al Jidani, uh, Amir Abdul Qadir al Jazairi, dealing with French prisoners with such dignity that they even went back to France and had to praise him. I don't see that because the tarbiyah that those men had was this tarbiyah. And this is, this is what I want to see. I want to see when we do finally go into Jerusalem that we don't slaughter people. Seriously, that's what I want to see. When we do finally go into Jerusalem, <laughs> that we don't slaughter people. That we have the prophetic character. Now we have the power. This is the time to show Rahmah when you're in power. That's the time to show Rahmah. They didn't show it with us, they're not our teachers. Well, they do it to us. They're not our teachers. Our teacher is sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ma arsalnaka illa rahmatin lil alameen. That's our teacher. Wa ma arsalnaka illa rahmatin lil alameen. It's a mercy. The Prophet forgave people. Um Jamil used to put thorns on his path and the wind would blow it away. One day he came out, there were no thorns. He went to see if she was okay. She was sick that day. So he visited her. It was his aunt. SubhanAllah. Where is that? Where is that akhlaq? Where is the akhlaq when people spitting on him, throwing rocks at him, his, his feet are bleeding, and the angel comes and says, you want us to smash these two mountains? Wipe them all out? No. I want to see their children pray. <laughs> It's a, it's, a, it's a different, uh, it's just a different perspective. That doesn't come from haqad and bughad and hasad. That, that's not where it comes from. It comes from something else. You know, that you actually care about people, even the bad people, you wish for them good. The Prophet didn't wish for people destruction. He wanted their salvation. That's what he was concerned about. He didn't want to chop heads off. He wanted to enlighten heads. He wanted to restore them. You know, that's who our Prophet is. And I don't see him being represented anywhere in our ummah anymore. I don't see it. I, I wish I could. I wish I could say, you know, look, this is Islam. Here it is. This, this is Islam. I can't, where can we point to and tell these people in the West, these ignorant People, they're, they're ignorant. You know, they're really not, they don't know anything. Where can you point? You know, you can point to the Taj Mahal, to the Topkopi, you know, point to the Blue Mosque. Those are stones. Where are the hearts that built those stones? Where, where are those hearts that that beauty came out of? Where are they? That, that's what he's talking about. But it's not easy. He, he was so fed up with himself that he had to go into retreat for 10 years. <laughs> but that's why we're here teaching his book. <laughs> All those people that attacked him, the people that burnt his books, we're not teaching their books. You know, the Warghiyali, the, the Mufti of Fez, the Imam of the Qarawiyin, the esteemed scholar of his age, the one that gave the fatwa to persecute the Jews, he's not the one honored today. It's Ahmed Zarruq that said it's, it's wrong. We need to, to protect the Jews. He's the one honored. Not the one that said, 
steal their goods, go into their houses. That's what they did as a pogrom in Fez. It's one of the great disgraces of Moroccan history. But Ahmed Zarruq said, it's wrong. That's who we honor today. Everybody was against him when he was alive. And that's why only history, history is going to, you know, Allah will judge us, but it's the people that come later that, that can sort out all this mess. Not the people alive today, because everybody's got nafs. Everybody wants to be on top. Everybody wants their position. But we're all just doing ishtihad. That's all it is. We're, we're all trying our best. And just acknowledge it in the other. It's not my ishtihad. I think you should be doing something else. But if that's what you think you're doing, it's your life. You have to live it. 